Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Huff with the nursing department at Columbia State Community College, and I'm speaking with Ms. Katrina Woody, who works in the Office of the Health Sciences Division at Columbia State, and she's going to help us understand how to correctly submit an application for the nursing program. Thank you so much for doing this today. You're very welcome. I'm glad to be here. Well, first of all, when do students submit their applications to the program? Okay, so for the traditional route, a student, we take applications twice a year and applications are taken in February for the class that begins in the fall in August and applications are taken in August for the class that begins in the spring in January. Okay, now what if a student is an LPN? Is that the we same? Do, it, it is a different process. We do have an LPN to RM Bridge program and information about that can be found on our website. Uh, students need to know that it is a different process and they should contact us with questions. But it is okay if a student decides to apply the traditional route and the LPN route, as long as they're a licensed LPN, you do have to be licensed in the state of Tennessee as an LPN to apply the LPN to RM Bridge option. Oh, okay. So they, they can try to enter into both routes then if they wanted. Yes, uh, okay. students often do. Okay, all right. Um, do you have any tips on how to make the application complete? And, and how to submit it correctly. Yes, so right now in this virtual environment, we are uh, adapting to that. Uh, in February, we anticipate taking applications virtually. Uh, the process will be outlined on our nursing webpage, but basically you will be emailing your application, your one page nursing application, which is found on our nursing website unofficial copies of all college transcripts. This would include an uh, unofficial copy of Columbia State transcript if you've attended here and a separate unofficial transcript from each college you've attended. If we happen to see transfer credit from another college on, on another transcript and we don't see a separate transcript for that college, we would then consider your application incomplete. So be sure and uh, put all of your unofficial transcripts with your nursing application. And then the final thing you'll want to, to include would be a copy of your ACT or SAT score if you have one. If you don't, it's still fine to apply to the program. Uh, you can look at our admission scoring criteria found on our nursing webpage to see how the ACT affects the application process and our point system. Would you recommend that students start early in the month um, getting their, their the application into you in case there is something missing? That way they have a little bit more time. Is that possible? Oh, yes. That's an excellent idea. I do want to note that we, we look at applications the same way, whether they come in on the first day of the month or the last day of the month. But um, when they come in earlier in the application period, it gives us more time to communicate if there is something missing. And we do that by emailing the student. Uh, there's a place on the nursing application that they uh, provide their email address. So whatever email address the student provides is how we would contact them if something were missing. Okay, all right. So it would definitely help to start early. Definitely. Now, after all of the applications are in and they've been analyzed and, and the class has been formed, um, when can students expect to hear if they got into the program or not? And, and does everyone get a response? Yes, everybody does get a response, a written response. Uh, traditionally, it would be a letter in the mail, but during COVID times, we are emailing those responses and we shoot for at least a month after the application period ends is, is typically when a student hears. So for example, if you were to apply in February, you would be looking to hear something in late March or early April. Uh, again, we would use the email address you provided on your nursing application. Okay. 
All right. Well, well, thank you. Just one more question. If students still have questions about the application process to the nursing program, who can they contact? Yes, uh, that's a great question. So we are available anytime for you to email us. Uh, our email address is nursing at columbiastate.edu. And then myself, and Ms. Ebony Price are both available to answer questions about the nursing application process. My phone number is 931-540-2599 and Ms. Price's is 931-540-2600. All right, thank you so much. That was great information. Wonderful, it's my pleasure. And please don't hesitate to contact us if you uh, do have any questions about our process.